How are you? Yes, it is time for mathematics and uh, today we want to learn about we want to talk about area of combined shapes area of combined shapes area of combined shapes so you did shapes in your lower grades you learned about shapes in your lower grades and if you can remember the shape i think you can remember the shape that you did isn't you we did shapes like let us remind of, uh, let's remind ourselves of the shapes that we did in uh, lower grades shapes that we did in lower grades araka araka shapes yes sako sako uh, girls huh? triangles uh -huh. at the back there yes we talk about rectangles And uh, huh? Ali, we talked about ovals. Any other? Square. Very good. We talk also about square. So we have got so many shapes. Are we together? Yes. So when we are talking of area of combined shapes, we are going to look at. We are going to deal with more than one. You are going to be given a mathematics that involves figure, but that figure you are going to find that it entails more than one shape are you together in class five i'm very sure that you learned about area of let's say a rectangle are we together you are taught about this is what we call a rectangle you learned also how to find area of a right angle triangle if you could remember that in class five isn't you? you this is called right angle triangle right angle triangle you also learn about how to find area of a, a square. A square is a, a figure with all sides equal. This is square. All sides are equal. Are we together? So if you can recall, you are told that the finding area of a rectangle is equal to A, means area, is equal to length times width. Are you together? Yeah. Then, if you see a triangle with 90 degrees, it shows that that's a right angle triangle. Are we together? So right angle triangle, the area of a right angle triangle is a half base times height. You did that, didn't you? You take, this is now the height, the altitude, and this is the base. Don't use this because this is, that uh, is called hypotenuse line. So you don't use the hypotenuse, you only use this one and this. Then area of a square, because square, all sides are equal, you say that area of a square is equal to side times side if you are given here to be four you take four times four you get 16. if here is eight and here is let's say four you use the formula of a half base is the four then height is eight so this one two you find that if in this case uh the altitude which is the height is eight and the base is four then our answer is going to be uh, if it is centimeter, you write centimeter squared. In most cases, you give the area of any figure that you are given into square unit. Are we together? So back to what we want to learn today. We are looking at here. This was in grade five. You are just dealing with a, an individual, an individual figure. Look at what I'm doing. In grade five, you are dealing with an individual what? You are dealing with an individual figure. Are we together? individual figures now in this class this is being because this is grade six we are now going to deal with you will find that one mathematics contain two contains two what contains two contains two uh more than one shape for example you will find that a mathematics like this let me show you what we mean by combined shape let's look at this what is the shape of this paper what is the shape of this paper? Class, what is the shape of this paper? This shape is, the paper, uh, the shape of this paper is triangle. If I fold it, you see, if I fold it, it forms how many shapes? It forms how many shapes? Two. We have got shape A and shape B. Are we together? Yes. So shape A, which shape? Shape A is what? Shape A is? 
a rectangle. What you did in grade? Five. And shape B is a triangle. What you did in grade? Five. Now in this class is now combined. You find that it is combined. It is combined. So let's look at this one. Like in this case it is this way. Let us, it is something that looks like this. Are you together? So this is shape A and this is shape B. Let's make it to be straight because it's a right angle triangle. Are you seeing what we are doing? So this is what we call combine shape. Can you say combine shape? So you understand that one combine means one thing joined together. One thing joins what? Together. Let's say this paper is, this paper is what? Which shape is this? If this shape is a rectangle. Are we together? If you now fold it, it is now coming up with two. It is coming up with two shapes. Are you together? Now it is one. It is now. Uh, that's what we call now a combined. Now, when you are given to find area of a combined shape, I first of all told you that area of any shape that you are given, you give your answer into square unit. Let us assume that from here to here is. Uh, let's say it is uh, 12 centimeters. Are you together? Are you together? From here up to is 12. Then let's say from here to here is 8 centimeters. Are we there? Yes. Then from here up to here, let's say it is 6 centimeters. Are you seeing? Now we have got two shapes here. The first shape is what? The first shape is? The first shape is what? It's a rectangle. Are we together? Rectangle. And you learn, you use the formula that you are taught in grade 5 that says that area of a rectangle is equal to length times width. So in this case, length is what? Who can tell me length? Length of this triangle is? I mean length of this rectangle is? What is the length of this rectangle? Eight. Very good. Length is eight from here up to here. It's the same as from here up to here. Are we together? From here up to here is the same as from here up to here. You see, this is the shape that we are dealing with first. Then width is? Width is six centimeters. So what is eight times six? What is eight times six? What is 8 and 6? 8 and 6 is? Huh? 48. So you write 48 centimeters square. That is now the area of the what? Of the rectangle. Then we have what? This B, this is A. Then B is a triangle. Are we together? And it is a rectangle triangle. From here to here is? Be very careful here. From here to here is 12. It means that from here to here is? Eight. Eight. Yes. How many are left for this thing to be 12? Oh. For it means that from here to here is 4 centimeters. Do you see how 4 centimeters comes? Yes. Are we together? It means that 4 plus from here to here is 8. Yes. 4 plus 8 gives us 12. Are we there? Now, if <laughs> the width in this case is 6, it means that the height here is also 6. Are we together? Yes. Centimeters. Are we there? Now, the area of a triangle is equal to a half into base times height. Are we there? Now, in this case, our base is 4. So, you use the formula half times 4. Now, you don't use 12. Are you together? Times the altitude, the height, which is 6. Then, 2 goes into 2, 1. 2 goes into 4, 2. Amsa. 2 times 6? 2 times 6? 12 centimeters square. Now, to find the area of a combined shape, because we are dealing with two shapes, to find the area of a combined shape in this case, you take the total area is going to be, you take the area A plus area B, whereby area A was 48 centimeters squared plus area B which is 12 centimeter squared. 
Now, what is 48 plus 12? 48 plus 12, 8 plus 2, 10. You write 0, you carry 1 plus 4, plus 1, 60. Then answer is, you must write because it is area. Now you say area is equal to 60 centimeter square. So in mathematics, the most important thing is the method. Are you together? It's the method of doing it. The method of doing it. Method is if you come up with the right method and you follow the formulas well, then you will find that calculating the area of uh, combined shapes is not a difficult thing.